Since Halloween is soon, we're going to be taking a look at the scariest wrestlers. Now, WWE has had its fair shares of scary, not many scary as of right now, but there have also been some scary wrestlers and whatever this is. But, but nowadays, the scariest wrestler is Nia Jax. Starting us off with the boogeyman, this man is just a creep. He's a creeper. He's a weirdo. Just look at this man. He, I don't know. There's something about the boogeyman. It's just scary. Like, imagine seeing this at 3 in the morning in your house. Like, just like in the morning, you're already just going to wake up to like pee or something. Like, get like a warm, or just get water or something in the middle of the night. For some reason, you just wake up and you just see him eating a box, eating like a whole bunch of worms. And hitting himself with the clock on his head. Just staring at you like, oh, heck no, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I jump out the window, man. I'm about to get, I'm about to, yo. But dance, dude, like, imagine seeing him dance, bro. And then his, like, entrance is just so scary. Him hitting with himself with the clock. Like, if I see this at my house, I am dipping like some chicken tenders. Either way, now we got Sting. The Stinger. Not, he's not scary right now. But he's been scary a few times. Like, there was a key moment. Well, he was actually, like, pretty scary. I'm not, I wasn't alive for the moment, but the Joker, like, holy smoke, the Joker is creepy. I don't know why. He's pretty much the psychotic Joker. Also, when he had the long hair, it, it looked pretty creepy as well. Like, imagine just seeing him in the middle of the night just staring at you. Oh, my God. We got Viscera. Controversial. Hold on. Hold on. Let me, let me cook. Viscera with the white hair. Not no Big Daddy V with the black tank top thingy with his nipples showing. Visceral, the one with the black jacket, headband, white eyes, everything. This one is a, is creepy. Not this one. What the, the hell? Oh my god. The Barood Edge Christian Gangrel. Oh my god. Like the, I wasn't alive as well, but whatever. Most of these, I'm not alive, but whatever. We have Edge Christian Gangrel. Just like imagine seeing a like vampires but like heck no like on all on all fans I was, it's pretty cool and when edge returned with the brood theme oh my god that was crazy it's, i like the bird bath i'm not gonna lie that's one of my favorite things like just seeing like some random goo just be spit down to some wrestlers it's just something amusing with us now we have doink the clown i am terrified of clowns that's just me though and when he would do both of the clowns i'm just like <laughs> Yep, I'm just screaming on the top of my lungs. Like, imagine seeing two clowns together in, like, just anywhere. Like, honestly, I, I don't know. There's something about it. Like, for me, clowns are literally just an excuse for serial killers to be in front of kids. Like, heck nah. Like, it, like, let's be honest. If you're going to a birthday party and you got a clown, you better hope that man don't try to suffocate you. You better hope that man don't try to give you candy in the bus. But you better hope a clown doesn't try to lock you up in a room and try to make out with you. <laughs> I don't know. But clowns, creepy. Throwing the clown, creepy. And like, in all fairness, if he would offer me to a ticket to a show, oh, heck no, I ain't taking that, but like, I don't know, man. Whatever. Rest in peace, I guess. But, you know, whatever, whatever. And then we got Eric growing. Like, as well, I just wanted to make this bigger. Eric Rowan is pretty scary. The sheep mask, honestly. His bald head, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, his beard, his orange beard, I think. Like, hey, if he's somebody with a sheep mask and some enormous beard, don't you just want to, like... Honestly, why am I getting the, the sudden urge to just tap his head? Hey, whatever. But this man is weird. He's scary. Like, the way he would just, like, turn his head... Like, dang, bro, I just want to I just wanna feel your head, bro. I just want to feel your egg. But whatever. The sheep, insane. I used to love the wild family, man. It's so sad that some of them are gone. But whatever. Like, that beard, imagine pulling that beard. Like, would it hurt him? I feel like it would. But, like, whatever. The sheep is, it, it was pretty cool. After, I feel like since the Y family ended, he's really not been anywhere besides the Bludgeon Brothers. Speaking of Bludgeon Brothers, Luke Harper, John Huber, rest in peace. But he's really scary. Like the way he would just stare into people's soul is just crazy. Like imagine, like, and I don't know why I keep saying this, but imagine in the middle of the night, you're sleeping. You suddenly wake up, and this man is just staring into your soul. Like, heck, nah, bro, trying to see my thoughts and dreams, bro. And then, like, when he's, like, like, bro, this man's a creep. Like, imagine being just, like, imagine having a staring contest with this dude. Like, heck, no, bro, bro's about to see my future. Like, man's tripping. 
Personally, he's a pretty good wrestler. I'm not going to lie. He's really good. Rest in peace. But he's also really scary. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was one of the scariest wrestlers of the Wyatt family. And if he stares into my soul, I'm jumping out a dang window. I'd rather jump out a window than be staring at him. Man, it's creepy. And then the tank top and everything. But, oh, heck, no. Like, if you if you trying to have a sleepover with him, you you just trying to get murdered. you just trying to die. Papa Shango. Now... He's pretty scary. I didn't, like, I haven't watched too much of him, but he's pretty scary. I'm not going to lie. Like, Papa Shango. Like, I have nothing else to say. He's pretty good. He's really good at it. Um, his creepy stuff. Pretty creepy, I guess. I like how a lot of these have face paint, but whatever. It's what it is. And Papa Shango. The Papa to your mango or something. Whatever. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore at this point. But it is time to go to the devil's favorite demon. Kane! Yes, look at this man. Bro was jacked at one point. I don't know how this man cut all that hair out, bro. Or did he cut it? Was it one of I don't even know. Whatever. This man, when he was with Paul Bear, like, when he, like, it was so crazy how when he debuted, like, he was, like, brothers with King Undertaker. That was crazy. And just look at him. Like, looking at this and seeing him now, it's, like, not even the same person. He's an egghead now. Bo, Bo that looks nothing like this. Bo changed a lot. Bo lost muscle and gained belly. Whatever. I'm not I'm not saying I'm not trying to be rude. Whatever. Next, we got Bray. And Wyatt. Rest in peace. Recently died. But, man. Bray Wyatt. Like, the Fiend, bro. Jeez, man. We could have saw so many more scary stuff. It's just tragic. But, Bray Wyatt. I, am I the only one that was kind of freaked out by the burnt fiends? Like, imagine being burned. Coming right back to life looking like that. Heck no. You're just asking to get cooked. <laughs> get it? Because cooking and whatever. But look, like when he had maggots under the ring as well, it was kind of creepy. But, oh, also when he was in the coffin. Like, yo, when he just did the Undertaker thingy. Oh, my God, the sit thing. Oh, my God. Like, Bray Wyatt is just crazy. His mind games were insane. Like, honestly, I'm not going to lie. When, like, he was having a vibe with Cena, I was terrified, man. What did this dude man do to the ring? Why is the fiend hiding under the ring? He's trying to come up and have somebody or something. But why is he staring at the people so, so devious? Fiend, we know what you about. Next, we have the Undertaker. If you didn't expect the Undertaker to be last, you're tripping. Undertaker, the best scary wrestler, in my humble opinion. And just just, just imagine, like, okay, put yourself in this situation. You're just chilling in your room, and, like, out of nowhere, the gong happens, and, like, the lights just turn off, and this man just chokeslams the living doo out of you. Like, heck no, nah, I'm pooping my pants. I am not trying to deal with him. But he's pretty good also. Like, the hat, like, I like the hat. It's pretty iconic. Undertaker is just a legend in the business. Like, I, I don't know if you guys know this, but, like, I love the Undertaker. He's my freaking outro. <laughs> if you know what I mean, you know. Uh, but, um, yeah. Who, what other people should I do next? Let me know. What other videos should I do in the future? Let me know. And, um, yeah, I mean, you all best in peace, I guess. To let... The Undertaker, rest in...